Who you have winning the finals? It's a no-brainer for me. I think it's five games, and it's five games to the Warriors. Are you five? Yeah, it's going to be five. It's going to be 4-1. Warriors going to take game one. Warriors going to take game two. Celtics, they going to take game three. Warriors going to take game four, and Warriors going to get it done. Mm. Bay. Okay, game you want to go with no-brainer. We got to use our brain, though. So they're not winning in five. They're not winning in six. They're not winning in seven. They're not winning. Boston Celtics going to win this. Best defensive team in the NBA, so obviously Gold State Warriors, you will be slowed down. And more importantly, if you look at the Boston Celtics, hottest team in the regular season, finishing down the stretch run, and also a team that protects the, the basketball better than Golden State Warriors. All those little things will come and add up for a Celtics victory. Mm. Next up, the biggest award of the series, Acho. Who you have winning finals MVP? Finally? Is it finally? Steph Curry on oh, the shot, boy. He, oh, he's going to get it, huh? Steph going to get his. Um, mm. I think Steph will finally get what he deserves. Yeah. Steph Curry, to me, one of the greatest basketball players the game has ever seen. And when I say one of the greatest, I mean top 10. Everybody says, oh, he's <laughs> one of the greatest. Top 15, <laughs> top 20. No, no, no. Okay. Top 10, one of the greatest. Uh. And also one of the greatest small players <laughs> in a big man's game. Steph Curry finally gets it done. I can feel that, taking us back to when LeBron James finals MVP on a losing team, something like that. Oh, because they're losing. You know who it's going to be. Best player on the best team that's winning this is Jason Tatum. It's that simple. Jason Tatum went out there in the Eastern Conference Finals. You see how he responds, even in bad performances. The next one going to go out there and average over 30. Jason Tatum has this team on his back with some collective help, but he's going to be the guy singled out as the MVP. All right, we could see a surprise with the NBA Finals MVP, but who's your dark horse winner? of the MVP. I had to think long and hard about this mm, one. This is... I got to go with the guy many call Wardell. Wardell? Steph Wardell Curry again, <laughs> Steph. <laughs> Why? Because they didn't want to give it to him the first time he won the chip because they were like, oh, well, we can't give it to Steph. We got to give it to Draymond. Steph was going to get it the second time they won the chip, but KD shows up, and in a pivotal game three, KD buckets. Mm. I think Steph Curry is a dark horse, even though mm. he should be a favorite because for whatever reason, people don't show the favorite favoritism. Wow. That makes him the dark horse. <laughs> Steph Curry always has to go above and beyond his own greatness oh. in order to impress. In 2015, when he he didn't win finals MVP. No. He had 37 points in a pivotal game five. Mm. Meanwhile, what were we doing? Awarding it to Andre Iguodala because mm. he shut down LeBron James. Mm. Shut down LeBron James to LeBron averaging 36, 16, and 10. Wow. Steph Curry's a dark horse, and he's a favorite wow. for me. I thought that was a graphic glitch. I'm like, Steph Curry up there again? And he said, dark horse on steps? Dark? Uh, whatever. And y'all, come on. Let's go to someone for real. That you're like, wow, they won the finals MVP? Kind of how you felt when Iggy won it. Well, if the Boston Celtics win it and they don't give it to Jason Tatum, it's going to be because of Al Horford. Look, father time. Going to have to take a little more time to catch up to our old father Al over here because Al Horford, when he steps up and has the Ben Gay on the knees and lathered up, this team seems unbeatable. Why? Because of his size and his presence on the perimeter. We know a big man can play down low, but going against KD sometimes and switches, and you're going through Giannis, Jimmy Butler, etc. When he's on, the Boston Celtics are on. All right, let's bring back Slick Rick Dubuque and give us your finals predictions. Maybe beat up our list. All right, Acho, I felt like we were both standing very close to the sun up until we got to the dark horse. And then, as they say, you just tried to do too much. Do too, <laughs> too much. Three much. Too much. <laughs> uh, I hope that this series goes six or seven games, but my fear is that it is not. And that's because the Warriors are going to dominate. I expect them to win game one. The team that wins game one wins mm. the series 77% uh, of the time. Mm. Finals MVP, Acho, your concern is mis, uh, misplaced. I think there's a narrative out there that people want Steph to win finals yes. MVP. Yes. And he's going to get the benefit of the doubt because they feel like he got robbed back in 2015 when Andre Iguodala got it. So if he does anything remotely close and the Warriors win, Steph is ultimately going to get it. However, the dark horse is Marcus Smart. I'm not mad at yourselves for going with Al Horford, but Marcus Smart, we've already seen this precedent. It was actually Andre Iguodala. As a defensive player on LeBron and spotted LeBron's numbers hmm. and what he was doing <laughs> offensively as a distributor, Andre Iguodala got the nod. If huh? the Celtics happen to win this series, it will be because Marcus Smart lives up to his Defensive Player of the Year standing, 
and hold Steph to that career 29% shooting that he's had against Marcus over the years Ooh. and that Marcus is a distributor or a playmaker on offense, which keeps him in the plus minus because no one's plus minus is more closely tied to wins and losses for the Celtics in these playoffs than Marcus Smart. Mm. Slick, I'm going to be real yeah. with you. I said Steph Curry was my dark horse, but now I'm about to upset Slick. What? I got a true dark horse. Now, he ain't dark. He is light as <laughs> Steph Curry. But I got a true Who dark horse. Who is that? Oh. Steph uh, Slick. Jordan Poole oh. is my uh, actual oh, here we go. dark horse. Oh, God, here I, don't know what, I don't know what his issue is with Jordan Poole. Uh, Bang that Jordan Poole the, drum. The clock series. You've been doing baby. it for three days now. Here's my thing, Slick. If the Warriors win, and Steph Curry is not the leading scorer of the team. Who more like who's most yes. likely to be the leading scorer in your mind based on what you know about the playoffs? It's a, it's a great point. If Jordan Poole is what he was against the Denver Nuggets in the finals, <laughs> then Jordan Poole has a great chance as the dark horse to because win MVP. If Marcus Smart does mm. what Marcellus Wiley knows he's capable of doing and what Slick just told us he's capable of doing and Steph only shoots 29% from the field. Mm. But Jordan Poole still balls like Jordan Poole's capable yeah. of balling. I don't know if you can turn the blind eye to two 30-point performances if the series only goes yep. five like I think and five like six. Slick thinks. That's why Jordan Poole's my legitimized dark horse. Here's the thing, though. As you yeah. know, as you go in advanced playoff series, how strong are your weaknesses? The Boston Celtics, our game plan is attack Jordan Poole. We're going to make Steph Curry go out there and say, hey, where's my sidekick? Oh, Steve Kerr has him next to him on the bench because of his defensive issues and as a liability. We'll see how that plays out.